Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys and shed a little bit of light on two specific videos from somebody that I've been watching like religiously for a little bit while now. Dom Work literally made two of the best videos that I've seen as far as tutorial goes in a long time. Now, if you guys look above, um, the videos are called How to Build Comp Guard Part 1 and Part 2. Now, in Part 1, he broke down some crazy moves where a lot of players are starting to call it IQ over ISO, whereas though everybody knows what ISO is, hey, both of y'all go stand in the corner, or if you playing twos, y'all go stand in the corner, I got this, I'm gonna do what I do, and that's it. And a lot of people are calling IQ play is when you have a center holding the screen right there, and you're just dribbling around the center, trying to get open, trying to you know break down the defense the best you can behind screens. Now, the thing about dime work is, his videos are all about just getting a bucket straight up and down whether you use the screen whether you don't use the screen and man i'm telling you guys right now the reason why i'm here is because i want to learn some of these moves not only that i've changed all of my packages to his sigs except for my jump shot the jump shot that i will be using in this video will be 98 but i'm gonna go ahead and try to break down some of his moves and see if i can pull some of the things off now in his videos he talked about the momentum tween he talked about um the dribble escape the quick stop you know the, the the regular stuff that a lot of guards use to get open but when he was breaking it down he's breaking it down for people that might not know how to do these moves to the point where it's like people get frustrated and he's letting you know like yo if you just think you're gonna watch this video one time and dribble like me or use the moves that i use something's wrong with you it takes practice so what i'm doing is i'm here to practice man so let's hop into the video I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and all right now i know a lot of people usually do this later in the video i'm actually going to show you guys all the sigs that i'm going to be using for this video now you guys can go check out his channel and the videos will have his sigs available as well but um so basically i'm gonna just go to my animations real quick show you guys oh by the way yeah controller on screen um so these are the dribble moves that you guys are going to need dribble style needs to be quick Allen iverson size up moving crossover needs to be pro 2 moving behind the back needs to be pro six moving spin needs to be basic one you definitely are going to need pro three moving hesitation and triple threat style normal six now if you are one of those people that like getting hop steps and stuff like that if you love that you're gonna need long athlete and like i told you guys the jump shot that i'm using today will be jump shot 98 now i know what you guys are thinking pod what's what's up with you man what why do you want to do this like why now it's june like why now it's june what's going on with you well i mean it's uh, i'm kind of bored man i ain't gonna cap i'm kind of bored i want to learn some new stuff do some things a little bit differently and uh why not you know what i'm saying come out here in all black and do what i do you know what i'm saying now uh just to let you guys know as far as the jump shot goes um this jump shot is 98 this is not my regular jump shot but this is the best jump shot in the game a lot of people have a lot of success with this jump shot no matter if you are I, I would say one of the best shooters in the game with like a 90 plus three or if you're one of the people with like a 73 pointer it, it doesn't matter you know what i mean you can you can do whatever you need to do all right so uh after you guys see i'm, I'm grinning a couple of shots here you know what i'm saying once you get once you get the jump shot going it's pretty easy to hit you know what i mean the timing really isn't that hard and also i can't lie to y'all man this jump shot might be the, the the most broken jump shot of nba 2k20 because this jump shot hits the most whites i don't know why but this jump shot hits a thousand whites all right now uh let's try out some of the moves that uh don was talking about so first and foremost the reason why he uses the Allen iverson size of package is because of that animation right there and all you got to do is flick up on the right stick you guys see the hand cam that's all you got to do but what dying work actually does is he chains together a ton of moves so he does uh, a tween afterwards a behind the back momentum and then he does a between the leg now i'm telling y'all right now my fingers literally don't move that fast in order for me to actually do it as quick as he does but i've been i've been practicing like he said 
and i can tell you guys man it's it's really really hard man it's really really hard like that's one of his like main combos and i can tell you guys now like if i do get this joint down like man it's, it's gonna be crazy now some of the smaller things that he does um he does momentum tween so if you momentum tween it's supposed to create like a lot of misdirection so i just been i just been trying to get it down but man i can tell you right now bro it's been it's been pretty hard now i'm gonna try to do one of the misdirection moves that he does and then he comes in it's like it's, it's so weird because like he speed boosts out of it then he lets everything go and then he does like a curry uh behind the back so let me see if i can and he also said sometimes you get that animation where it's not actually curries behind the back but he said most of the time you do get the curry behind the back if you do it right That's the one right there. That's one of the misdirection moves that he uses, but I can't lie to y'all. He was doing like a double tween momentum. Like, oh my God, like that joint different. Let me let me try his uh his quick stop. Cause what he said he do he does is he quick stops with it. So like say for instance, uh he does a momentum tween, right? He let goes, he lets go of everything and um flicks right up on the uh, analog, and then he's able to quick stop. You know what I'm saying? So say for instance, he's going behind the screen here and the screen may be set at the middle, right? So if the screen, if the screen is like set at the, at the middle, what he'll do is he'll momentum. Uh, let me see. And it, now I ain't going momentum. I ain't ain't going momentum, bro. Look at that. All right. That's, that's much better. Another thing that he, uh, he told everybody about, um, basically when you doing all this, you know what I mean? Change the direction and all that like that ain't that ain't really nothing like a lot of people do this 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 ain't really nothing you know what i mean he he was like if you if you one of these players like just go ahead and leave man just go ahead and leave the park man um what he did tell me is when he does certain moves so like say for instance we go back to his tween and then we come like this way he said he'll use the pro three as he in order to crab people so he says that crab is insane like um so like whether you're doing whatever moves if you guys see that right there that that move he said is is serious like you can crab so many people and he also uses it as misdirection too so if he goes tween and then stops he can pop like if somebody was setting the screen right there and he went that far over and somebody set a screen he can use the pro three to get people to either crab behind him or he can misdirect them so he said um what he likes to do is when he does the tween and goes one way if the screen hit and somebody's chasing him he said he also likes to use the curry uh behind the back like he says he let goes of everything and then does that and it might drag him back behind the screen but i'm saying though he does it so fast it's unreal you know what i mean it's much different when he does it but all i gotta do is just keep practicing hopefully i can i can get there you know what i mean so listen if you're one of those people like me that got like scoring machines and stuff like that offensive threats if you could sell the drive and quick escape that's really that's really hard so like what he'll do is and then it'll let go everything and then shoot so basically you you kind of like have to sell the drive so instead of doing that what you would want to do is like if you go tween then you run then you do that you stop let go of everything and then pull so you have to kind of like sell the drive and the best part about this is it's two points over three every time so if i'm going as fast as i can and i'm trying to get past somebody and then i sell the drive and stop pop it's a he said it's a kill almost every time because he said that um like him and sometimes like dnl uses it a lot so a lot of people get misdirected because the momentum that a person is carrying when they chasing you like when you do that and somebody like chasing you a lot bruh they they either gonna go to the baseline they're gonna go in the paint because they constantly chasing you the entire time now those simple moves i do understand like it's it's easy to do these type moves you know what i mean like that's that's super easy to do but the moves the momentum tweens and all that they're the hardest bro especially his patented uh five combo like his five combo is some some work bro like you got flick up go between go behind your back and then you gotta like you got a momentum tween after that that's that's unreal that's unreal to me man but um also this move this move is is real good too this one like he said with this right here you could really misdirect somebody 
because if you want to go one way right you can speed boost out of that automatically just by just by changing the ball hand one time you can speed boost out of that so what he said he does a lot is he goes like this let goes everything and then does the steph curry so if somebody is trying to come around the screen instead of fighting below it it's a he said it's an automatic kill but uh, he also said it's either way too because if somebody playing in the paint like they thinking about a drive if you change direction and then you know what i'm saying step back and he play under you can just shoot it because you know we got high high uh shooting attributes but he was like you know if you do this you come around let go of everything and sometimes you get that move but sometimes you won't he says the steph curry joint is the best but it's basically the same the same joint you just gotta rt down like sometimes you get you get the you get some crazy joint like let me see then see how i'm doing steph curry every time now that's the that's the animation that he doesn't like and sometimes he gets it but sometimes it's still a kill regardless but man um also one time he showed us uh that you can you could tween and then momentum like that that's crazy like but um i can say that that right there that's a crazy move too like a tween and then a crazy speed boost like that's that's unreal i don't know man i'm gonna keep practicing Oh, I made that. Hey, oh, I got park layups on. Haha. <laughs> let's let's get it. Why is why do I have park layups on, man? What in the world? Nice one. Right. 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 What? Oh, I thought he was asleep. My bad. Yo, them, yo, them park layups is cheese, bro. Come back, come, come, come in the middle, the middle of us. Come to the middle, in the middle of us, in the middle of us. Yeah, yeah. Hold your nuts, hold your nuts. There you go. Yeah, that's that, that's how that's how you do it, bro. Hey, get right. You want to see? Nah. Oh, he's in the paint too long. Yeah, I, th I thought the same thing. <laughs> I'm about to say, oh, he stepped out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, yeah, come back. Come come in the middle of us. The middle of us. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Ah. All right. Yeah, come back. Come back to the middle of us. Yeah, run back. Hey, good game, guys. Yeah, GG's, man. Oh, oh, bro. I'm going, I'm going back to the mock court, bro. I got a lot of practicing to do. You know what I'm saying? My moves ain't that sharp, man. I got so much practice to do, man. Sheesh. But uh, I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, go check out Downworks videos, man, if you guys want to learn more in depth and more, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I ain't, I ain't no comp guard yet. You feel me? I'm going to highlight you on the next one. Peace.